hi hello this is my uh new b to my house this uh, four and a half feet lathe machine that i purchased for my use and this is made in the year 1994 november and this model 2 anil brand so i'm restoring all the parts here i'm repainting i painted gray and black spray painted all the parts this is a tool post these handles are uh, painted in black i just use spray paint i'm using dual tone just for the sake of decoration nothing much so this is a carriage gear box this is a carriage um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change all the bolt nuts on this machine I also change the belt this belt is new I've restored almost all the parts here the gearbox is working perfect flawless uh, to restore I'm using lithium composite grease this is a lithium composite grease this is a water resistant high temperature resistant grease that is used to lubricate all these parts so that the parts remain uh, corrosion free for many years so this is a lead screw the lead screw goes first into the carriage gearbox and I should be fitting that here so I'm greasing this The headstock is greased now, all the back gear are greased. What I'm using is a lithium complex grease. This is a water resistant and heat resistant grease. This is castrol. This is also called as gel grease, which I'm going to use for all the components here in my uh, lathe machine that I'm restoring right now. I'm applying some grease here because it helps me in uh, fighting against corrosion. Now I'm going to tilt the headstock. Let's put the headstock in place. This headstock is mounted with 21 mm bolt. Headstock needs calibration. Uh, after mounting this, we have four bolts here which can be used to calibrate the headstock so that it don't uh, taper. So I've mounted the headstock. So headstock is in place. I've got a bunch of bolt nuts. So I'm changing everything in this layer. Let's put the tail gear cup. I'm using Allen. I'm adding grease to every bit of bolt and nuts that I'm using. In that way I can get rid of corrosion. So this is the clutch. So once we tight, tight this. This gets engaged with this pinion gear and the entire assembly tends to spin. So that is how 
द लेत कैरेज क्लच वर्कस सो दिस गोज टू द This is connected to the lead screw, and this is a clutch assembly, and this is a clutch. When lead screw spins, this spins. Clean all the parts. So these two holes should get into this. can put the handle this is connected so now it's time to put back the gear Let's put back the Allen. Hi, uh, this is my new, not new, uh, used lathe machine that I purchased. for my use so what i'm basically doing is i'm trying to restore the old lathe machine to the working condition so this is a gearbox this has double speed this is a back gear this is a, this is for the back gear this is a main gear this has a 6 inch uh, chuck as of now this is a bell drive with 2 hp 3 phase motor and this is a 4 and 1/2 feet lathe This is made in the year 1994, 94 November, and this is a model 2528. So what I'm basically doing is I'm trying to restore. This is a carriage gearbox, and how it works is you have this center gear which gets attached to either one of these gears, either in the left or in the right. So when you engage to the right this one gets engaged when you put it to the left this one gets engaged so basically this moves the carriage and this moves the tray in the carriage so that is how it works so this supposed to be filled with at least 1 liter of oil this gearbox works with oil so how does the center gearbox work this is a center one this gets engaged only when when this gets engaged this two gears can be spinned automatically how that happens is here you have a clutch this is a metal clutch so when you tight when you tight the lever here the clutch gets engaged and this tends to spin this is attached to the lead screw here this is a lead screw so this gets attached to the lead screw so the lead screw always spins and that spins the clutch engaging gear here so that is how the carriage gearbox works and this handle is for the lead screw when you engage it attaches to the lead screw lubricating all the parts i have dismantled everything and refitting the parts so that i can bring it to a good working condition all the gears inside are in good shape and in the bottom you find a drain bolt for the oil so this will have 1 liter of oil up to this mark that can be drained or here in the bottom and this is for the oil hose which goes to the lead screw uh, pinion here so if you put oil here it goes here and 
there is one more hole here which goes to the handle carriage handle so now let's put the lead screw in so this screw this screw here this screw here should get into the pinion gear here so that way it rotates make sure it works make sure the gears inside spin <laughs> so when everything is inserted let's put this back into the lathe assembly this is retaining pin which goes in here sure we also grease these rail let's pull this and put the reading pin initially After we put the carriage, let's tighten the retainer with 14 mm. Same thing goes to the other side. After that there is two pins which needs to go here which will connect to the carriage gearbox and there are four allens which gets placed here this is a retainer pin one two three four And let's put the slider back in to the carriage. After we tight, this is to adjust the free play. make sure it's these adjusters are not so tight not so loose so now the carriage mount is ready
so this should fit into the screw lever here this adjuster Now let's put this end piece. So let's install this. Now let's restore the chuck. So this is a centering chuck with three jaws. This is a chuck housing. I'm going to clean everything with uh, kerosene. Clean cloth and clean tissue paper is more important to clean all the parts. Hi, so let's assemble the chuck. So these are all the components of chuck. So I'm going to assemble this. This is the main housing. We need to put the screw gear that is going to drive the jaws of the chuck. So this screw gear will attach to the jaws and when we turn it automatically centers don't grease let's lubricate we should only lubricate with oil grease is too heavy for this application I'm using synthetic oil this inside and it should spin freely and now we should put this this a retainer let's put back the allens this allen which should go into this Let's put back the gears. This is a retainer. So this goes in here to retain the adjuster.
let's put the jaw in let's put the jaw in Chuck is ready now let's put back into the machine hi uh, today i'll be demonstrating how to calibrate the tailstock using a dead center tool and the chuck in the rear and uh, put the dead center in the chuck and tighten it so you see there is a lot of difference so what you need to do is you need to loosen the screws here to calibrate and this is very important so this holds the horizontal play of the tail stop so lose this so now you can move your tail stock horizontally the amount of movement that you can move is guided by this bolts on the either side and now we can take your tail stock to the dead center and now you need to move your and now you need to move your tail stock to match the dead center once after we reach the center position we'll keep the chuck uh, we'll keep the tail stock here and we can tighten the screws now you can tighten the screws so now this is a dead center for the tail stock so this is how you calibrate your dead center for your tail stop thank you so finally i have assembled the lathe machine it's fully restored i have changed almost most of the parts which is needed quick overview of my lathe components so this is a tail stock this is a head stock this for the low speed and the high speed low and high speed gearbox this is for the direction so this is for the thread direction left and right in neutral so this is a lead screw this is a carriage gearbox this handle is for carriage movement and this is a carriage clutch which helps to engage the automatic uh, uh, movement and this is for the lead screw handle and this is a tool post and this is used to move the tool front back and this is helps to make a taper uh, etc so for that this bench is used so this is used for all the operation this is basically used for all the operations so what i'm using is a three phase motor this is a three phase 2 hp motor and this is a belt release angle this is used to release the belt so this handle is used this is a tail stock this is floating tail stock
this is a handle so that's all about my lathe machine